so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem c that is removing smallest multiples from code forces around 822 uh, let's start with the problem then so in the problem we have been given a set s that contains all the elements from 1 to n so 1 2 3 so on up to n and where size of n is up to 10 the power 6 uh, so we have to remove some elements from S. So we have to do some removals and convert it to a new set T. So it can have some elements like 2, 3, 5, so on up to let's say n minus 2. So T will be a subset of S and we have to remove some elements from S to convert it to T. So how can we remove elements? So the rules of removal. So to remove some element uh, from set S, you can choose any element i from 1 to n and remove the smallest multiple and remove the smallest multiple of i that is present in S. Right? So that is how you can remove the elements. You can choose any uh, uh, like value i from 1 to n and remove the smallest multiple of i that is present in S. And cost of this removal, cost of this removal will be equal to i. So we want to convert s to t using these removals and we want to minimize the cost also. So we want to find the minimum cost that is required to convert s to t, right? So that is the problem. So how can we do this? Uh, the idea for this is pretty simple. Uh, so let's move on to the observations. Observation. Uh, so we will start from the left side. We will start from that is element one. And whenever we remove an element, whenever we remove an element, we will try to remove as, as much of its multiple as possible. So we will try to remove as many of its multiples as possible. As many of its multiples as possible. Right. So that is the observation. So you will start from the minimum element and whenever you remove an element, you will try to remove as many of as many as of its multiples as possible. But I mean by that is I can give you an example for that. Uh, for example, if we are, let's say we want to remove three elements. We want to remove i, we want to remove 2i, and we want to remove 3i, right? If you first of all choose 3i and remove 3i, your cost is equal to how much? Your cost is equal to 3i. So you remove 3i. Then you, if, if you choose 2i and remove 2i, your cost will be how much? It will be 3i plus 2i. So that is 5i. And if you now choose i and choose to remove i, it will be cost, it will be how much? It will be i plus 2i plus 3i, it will be 6i, right? So it will take you 6i cost to remove these three elements if you start from the right side and then like uh, by each element you try to remove it. As you can see, it is not really optimal, right? So what you can do is you can start from the left side. We'll start from the left side and we have to remove three elements that is i, 2i and 3i. So I will choose this element i, right, and remove it, right, because you have to you have to remove the smallest multiple, and i is the smallest multiple of i. So we'll choose i and remove i. So cost is how much? Cost is i. So now i is not there anymore. So now we, now we can again choose i, and if you again choose i, now the smallest multiple is 2i. Now the smallest multiple is 2i. So now we can remove 2i at just cost of i, right? Because as you can see, the rules of removal. You can choose i and remove the smallest multiple of i and the cost is how much? Cost is i. So now I again choose i and remove 2i and the cost is how much? It is i plus i now. Now I can again choose i and now the smallest multiple is how much? It is 3i. So I, so I can again choose i and remove 3i. So it will again take me just i cost. So I can do the same thing in now 3i. So as you can see, it was taking me 6i cost previously. But if I start from the left side and first I remove an element and then try to remove all of its multiples, it will take me just 3i cost, right? So as you can see, the approach is optimal. So that is the entire solution. So you can just write a solution on basis of this. 
right uh, start from left side or you can say element one if you need to remove if you need to remove uh, let's call it i right so you can like i will go from one to n if you need to remove i remove i and check all of its multiples that need to be removed and remove them so cost will be how much cost will be cost plus equal to i for every multiple that you remove so cost plus equal to i for every multiple that we remove so you will start on the left side right uh, let's call it uh, element i so you will iterate uh, in i from 1 to n if you have to remove i if you have to remove i remove element i and check for all of its multiples that need to be removed if they are not already removed you remove that multiple and update uh, cost plus equal to i right for every multiple that you remove so that will look something like this for example let's say you have some element i and you have to remove 2i you have to uh, let's say you don't have to remove 3i you don't have to remove this don't remove right let's say you have to remove 4i right so we'll start from i right so my cost is how much my cost is i and i have now removed i now i will again choose i and remove 2i so my cost is how much cost is i plus i that is equal to 2i but as i don't have to remove 3i right i cannot remove 3i so I cannot choose I anymore because if I choose I then 3I will be removed. So like whenever you see an element or a multiple that does not need to be removed, you will break the loop, right? So I cannot choose I anymore. So I can just break here. So that is also a thing that you need to take, take, take care about. So whenever you see a multiple that does not need to be removed, you have to break out of the loop as you cannot choose I anymore. So that is the solution. And if you guys want to see the code for this, here is the code. Uh, here's my string is, right? Uh, this is my string marked and that will tell me how many elements I have removed already. So I will start from i equal to zero and i is less than one. If s of i is equal to zero, that is if I have to remove i, it means if I have to remove i. Then I will iterate over all of its multiples. Iterate over all multiples of i. And if s of j minus one is equal to one, that is if I don't have to remove this multiple, if I don't have to remove this multiple, I cannot iterate further, right? I cannot iterate further. So I have to break here. So that was the example that, that I was showing you here, right? So like if you remove i and if you remove 2i, but you cannot remove 3i, so you cannot move further, right? You cannot choose 4i. So you will break here. You will just remove i and 2i and just break. Uh, and the second thing is when you're marked of j minus 1 is equal to 0, that is if the element has already been removed. For example, uh, I can give you an example for this also. Uh, let's say we have a 2 here. Uh, we have a 3 and we have a 6, right? So we have to remove 2, 3 and 6. Uh, and we also have a 4 and we also have to remove 4, let's say. So I will choose 2, right? I will choose 2 and remove 2. My cost is how much? Cost is 2. Then I will use 2 to remove 4. And then I will use 2 to remove 6, right? So it will take me 2 plus 2 plus 2. It will take me 6 cost, right? Then I will come to 3, right? Then I will come to 3 and uh, I will first remove 3. So it will take me 6 plus 3 equal to 9. And now if I try to remove 6, 6 has already been removed, right? So I will just remove, I will say 6 is removed, but I will not add the cost of 3, right? Because 6 has already been removed by 2. So I will not add this cost. So that is the thing. So if it has already been marked, then I will not add to my cost. Otherwise, I will say remove this element and add to my cost value of i. Right? I'm using i plus 1, right? Because of 0 index arrays. So you can like uh, think about the plus and the minus ones. Uh, like I don't think that needs to be said. 
and in the end after you have been through all the multiples of all the elements uh, you can just print out your answer that is your cost and that is the entire solution and if you guys have a doubt feel free to join my discord server i will be more than happy to answer your doubts there or drop it drop your doubts doubts in the comments and i will read them and answer right accordingly yeah so that is it for this video and i will see you guys in the next one and maybe i will make more videos on the following contest yeah so stay tuned for that as well and see you guys in the next one bye bye also if you guys don't know continue newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over 6 months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato Uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves also you don't need to worry if you guys think ki yaar mujhe koi coding aati nahi hai maybe fresher mein koi bilkul nahi aata the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly Uh, I highly vouch for this, and uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be link down below, and you can go and sign up from there. So, yeah, you know, be sure to sign up for this, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.